In May 2019, shark investigators attended the Rowell Ranch Rodeo, which is located in Castro Valley in Alameda County, California. This rodeo is sanctioned by the Professional Rodeo Cowboys Association, or the PRCA. In this first of a series of videos exposing the cruelty of the 2019 Rowell Rodeo, we'll look at the treatment of horses. It should be mentioned that the Rowell Rodeo Committee tried to ban video cameras, but our investigators filmed this cruelty secretly, and we also used a drone. As in past years, tame, domesticated horses were harassed and tormented into acting wild for the entertainment of people with no apparent ethical or moral code. Some horses were slapped in the face. Some were hit in the face or mouth. Some had their heads pulled around. Some horses reacted in desperation. Some horses collapsed in the chutes. One horse ran right into a gate. They struggled and they faltered. Anyone who understands horses knows that these are not happy animals. Last year, a horse was killed at the rodeo. This year, a horse went down for a prolonged period. We thought he was a goner, but in the end he got up and left the arena on his own. Still, what a terrible thing that these animals endure such mistreatment so pitiless men can pretend to be cowboys. Then there were the horses who refused to buck, and as a result were shocked with thousands of volts of static electricity. The device used is called a hot shot, which is manufactured by Miller Manufacturing, for very limited use on hogs and cows. Spokespeople for Miller have stated for years that the device should not be used in rodeos and should never be used on horses in any circumstance because they are too sensitive to electricity. Nevertheless, shark investigators regularly see the hotshot used to force horses to buck at rodeos nationwide. And that included the 2019 Rowell Ranch Rodeo. The use of the hotshot violates more than manufacturer guidelines. The California Penal Code includes the following. The rodeo management shall ensure that no electric prod or similar device is used on any animal once the animal is in the holding chute, and less necessary to protect the participants and spectators of the rodeo. But laws are of little concern at the Rowell Rodeo, because there is no enforcement. The Hayward Area Recreation and Park District, or HARD, which owns the land on which the rodeo is held, chooses to allow the phony cowboys to do whatever they want. The shocking of horses at Rowell is nothing new. Here is the hot shot being used on horses in 2008, when Shark first investigated the Rowell Rodeo. In a letter included in the 2019 Rowell Rodeo program, Hard Board President Rick Hatcher sucks up to the animal abusers. We appreciate the Rowell Ranch Rodeo Association for keeping the positive values and heritage of the American West alive for all to enjoy. Ironically, Mr. Hatcher continues with, The mission of the Hayward Area Recreation and Park District is to enrich the quality of life for our community by providing a variety of recreation activities, parks, and facilities that promote health and wellness, learning, and fun. Enrich the quality of life for our community? Promote health and wellness, learning, and fun? The Rowell Ranch Rodeo is a betrayal of Hard's mission, and a blight on the community. President Rick Hatcher and the entire Hard board should be ashamed of this spectacle of cruelty. If you care about animals, please don't go to rodeos, and don't do business with rodeo sponsors, some of which can be found at corporatethugs.com. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel to see more of our investigations, and learn what you can do to help shark help animals.